This morning, we are headed back to the ballpark and it feels good. The Norfolk Tides return to Harbor Park to start the home portion of the 2023 season. That's right. They're set to take on the Atlanta Braves affiliate Gwinnett Stripers this evening. It's a game Hampton Roads baseball fans always mm -hmm. look forward to. Ten on your sides, Brad Hall is live from Harbor Park. Good morning, Aisha and Katie. Yes, it is opening day, the 30th year here in Harbor Park uh, along the Elizabeth River. And we are joined right now by John Stanley with the Norfolk Tides. Come on, on, come on in here. And nobody is more excited right now to talk baseball than you at 6.30 in the morning. Yeah, that's correct. I mean, man, it's, it's been a big year. We, we just finished up our series over in uh, in Durham and we're, we're three and now the first time in a long time. Actually, I still got to dig into some, some research about that. But first time we won opening day since 2007. So it's kind of a weird drought to go through, but something to be really excited about. Well, you, I mean, we we talk about family a lot in, in just anecdotally you're part of the Orioles organization. There's excitement there. There's a lot of excitement here because of who could be coming up. But especially with the Orioles possibly being in, you know, going for the playoffs, not that we always aren't, but I say we, longtime fan. <laughs> but you said that this year there could be a lot of fluidity of who you see when you come to Harbor Park. Yeah, and the Orioles are pretty flexible with the roster. They have been in the past. Um, but this year especially, I mean, they, well, in, in most cases, some people say they overperformed last year. This year they're hoping to make the playoffs. They didn't make it last year. Um, this year we're sporting just here in Norfolk six top 100 prospects according to baseball america it's only a matter of time you know the guys are good up there the players here root for the guys up there too however if one guy happens to get cold while someone's hot down here orioles are going to do their best to make sure they're getting the best out of their guys currently now if someone coming out to see everyone playing the biggest change this year you would say is that clear bag policy right yeah yeah at least for the security uh new initiatives here at the ballpark. It's sort of uh, almost could say we were a little bit, you know, I wouldn't say lagging, but this has been a policy that most stadiums have had and we're just sort of adjusting to the present times and we understand that some changes can be frustrating for fans, but at the same time, we think it's in everyone's best interest. All right, so first pitch tonight, 635, right? That's correct. All right, and we're going to have more coming up. If you stay with us over on Fox 43, we'll talk about some promotions coming up this year. Hot dogs, a bunch of other stuff. You're going to want to make sure you see that. We're live from Harbor Park. Brett Hall, Ted on your side. Yeah, Hat man hot dogs. We're ready. That's <laughs> it. We're ready. That's all we need to say. Coming up, flying for 